Hello, welcome to a week in my life-ish as a content creator with a podcast and a reaction channel. Just finished wrapping up Doctor Who reaction. I'm curious about all the doctors to come. I'm so jealous of everyone that's been able to watch this Disney Plus season. Saturday, going to a barbecue here in South Florida. Family friend vibes. Just want to take you guys along in this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, give it a thumbs up, a like, you know. Subscribe if you're new. Don't be fake. Yeah. Update, two drinks in, heavy on the Tito's. Probably will go home in a few. Sober up a bit and then I gotta upload my Patreon for Doctor Who. And then I'm good for this week, so we'll really dive in for the week ahead. Someone really unexpected just texted me. Let me go answer. Okay guys, watch that. I'm gonna go help her up, cause she can't get up. But when I go help her, she's gonna jump up on her own, as if she just wants me to get up. And that's her trick. Okay, so the second I eat something sweet, I need something salty. Yes, that's a lot of bacon, but I'm making it for my mom and dad, and plus that like, it didn't have much life in it left. It's been in there because I've been eating turkey bacon. I've been on a health journey-ish as I eat a cupcake for breakfast. It's true, like I lost like almost 10 pounds. Definitely, okay, seven. Stop really, seven, eight. If you saw, I was doing my blood pressure. The bitch is high. The bitch is probably gonna need to go on like a pill to get her blood pressure down because my anxiety, I feel like my body just runs too much and it's too much for me, dainty little demure heart. Yeah, but I don't go to the doctor for like a few more weeks. So I'm just like locking it for them because every time I go there it's high, but I, it's just because I'm in that environment vibe. I feel like I do look a little skinnier, even though I'm not compared to like where I want to be, but where I've been, huh, it's a different story. Alrighty, so I was going to edit my Pride movie reaction. It doesn't have to do with like Pride. You should definitely watch it. It was actually recommended to me. I started a Patreon tier where you could join the tier and recommend a movie for me to react to. Freaking loved the movie. Just a really cool perk because that's a movie I might have never watched in my life. What I liked about it is it was a group of gay people protesting for something that isn't gay. It's not just about gays being narcissistic. No, it is not. So it was just a really refreshing take to just see like a group of gay people in a time where they weren't accepted get together to help others and not just themselves. Either way, it's good and necessary, but just the most unexpected take from it. Emotional ending, highly suggest you watch that movie or check out my reaction. Also, there's only two slots a month for that tier. One's been taken up for a few months, which we love. Who knows, you might wanna do it before it gets got. Yeah, and I'd love for you guys to tell me a good movie to watch. It's all that to say, I was about to sit down and edit that, but I recently got a new hard drive for being a reactor or a content creator. 
you need a hard drive. I was gonna start editing the Pride one and it was already being slow. I was like, I just have to transfer it to the new one. Now it's like four hours later of it transferring. I did not think it was gonna be that long. So this is a little behind the scenes of what I see minus the mess. You'll see, hold on. So this is what I look at. I have HRH over there, two ring lights, my monitor. I'll put my laptop here, ignore the bed. But my desk was a mess, as you can see. So I'm taking this time to clear it up because what is the point if it looks like that in here? Like, do you know what I mean? It's not demure. If you guys are wondering, I am negative. First time I ever got that done. It was a while ago, but I haven't had SEX in, so it stands true. I guess let's do a little time lapse -y. A rule for a true clean is you gotta remove the mess and put it back into the space or else it's never gonna be okay. So this is basically what I'm rocking with. I guess it's not really that organized. I mean, it's nice and empty, so I love that. So like anything that just doesn't belong in the drawer, I put over here. This is like mostly bathroom stuff. This is wire stuff, which I hate the way that that looks. I guess it being in the open is kind of a vibe. And then the glasses. I'm gonna go through these. Maybe let's go through these now. So I have so many glasses cheap and like real mostly cheap i guess go through them and just throw them the fuck out like let's be real like stop i think i'm gonna put a hat on because not that i really like wear hats only when i need a haircut i think the hat is going to elevate all of the glasses so let's go for it so these are like my first name brand ones which i think are just ray-bans right yeah it took me so long to figure out this pair and like Oh, honestly, it's not bad. I mean, they're broken, rotted. I think they're like $200. I just loved basically flimsy and light they are, but I guess she's done. Garbage is over there. These I'm kind of interested about. I wish I could play music. It's so annoying. It's all free promotion. Artists don't care. It probably needs to be like readjusted, but I was kind of obsessed with these. Like, and now I don't know. Oh, it's actually hard for me to tell. I feel like they look cool, but... Do these look good on me? Really good. They don't good on me. No. Really good. <sighs> don't know if you guys heard that, but my mom approves, so keeping them. Also, guys, I'm potentially talking to someone on Hinge right now. Every time I say this and put it out there, though, it doesn't end up good. I'm so nervous. It's the first time that this could literally be nothing, but I haven't talked to someone in so long that I felt like a vibe with. And this is the first time it's someone that actually lives where I live. Like in the sense of, like I don't live in Fort Lauderdale, but like Fort Lauderdale, I live right next to it. So it's just so easy I could meet up with him. But like, I don't wanna be the one to, rule number one on dating apps is get off the app. The longer you talk to them on the app, you build up what you think they are. And even worse, they build up in their minds who you are. Like, I don't want to spend days on the app, but like, I like it because it's like safe and like, I don't want to go through the anxiety. Oh my God. I feel like these are the same exact vibe. But I just have to go ask my mom every time. So the thing, I feel like these are like sitting so far off my face, but they feel like good quality. And they're quay. I feel like they'd be good if a friend needed glasses or something. Do they only get rid of one? Oh God. Label poor, but I'm bored of wearing clothes. I'm gonna put those together. God bless them. This is where we're getting ridiculous now. I wore these for a hot second and then I'm like, I'm supposed to look through these little holes. Like, are you dumb? Stop. Back to, I guess. The guy, like, you want to get the hell off the app quickly. It's just stupid to talk on the app. 
these are stupid, right? Actually, these don't look as... I'm looking through a peephole. Basically, I just hope that he asks me out because number one, also like, what is a date? I have anxiety, so like, I'm not gonna be hungry because I'm gonna be nervous. Oh my God. I'm not gonna have... What? Oh my God. Keep the fucking hat on. I look crazy. Okay, I think. Basically, I want him to be the one to ask me out. Like, I don't want to be so forward because I'm very demure. And I don't want to feel like I'm like some cool girl making the moves and then he meets me and I'm like very quiet and demure. I just want him to make the move. He said I'm intriguing. He said it's so interesting. What do you do on YouTube? And he's not giving me any red flag vibes. Well, there was kind of one, like I asked him about himself two, three times before he responded. He was coming back with interest in me. So not too shabby, not too bad. I don't know, TBD on that. What I'm anxious about is I feel like the next step already is to go out on a date and I just don't want to be the one to do it and I don't want to have the stupid fake long condo and then they get bored but what if he feels insecure or anxious about asking me but I feel like I'm always the one shockingly to have to make the move. I don't know what to do I guess I'll let you know. Oh my god, I have so many glasses. Let's just go through this quick. Oh my god, I completely forgot about these. These are definitely a guess. I'm just gonna do like a music montage and I'll put text on the screen or a voiceover and I'll just, yeah, I'll just give a look. It's like, this is very dad vibe. I'm just looking for a joyride. Joy, really, make it purr. I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna take forever if I talk. And my video is transferred, so I really should be editing now. Now I don't feel like it. Guys, I, I need to find something to wear for a potential date. How greasy that might sound. In Marshalls right now. I don't even know if it's happening, but I must be ready. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, just so happens, thank God. I need a nice fresh black shirt to hide my insecurities. Yeah, I don't know what pants to wear at all. Hopefully I find something. Much better lighting. Oh God, I just got two black shirts. I kind of like this one more because it doesn't have the whiteness, but this is, you can't really tell, but this one's blacker. I just have it paired. These, it's giving Florida. It's giving Florida, but what am I to do? Okay, I think I do like this shirt, but I didn't even think about, about the shorts. They're too big. It doesn't make my ass look good. I don't know if someone's sitting next to me, so stop. Okay, I got some more options. Feel good though because I have the shirt. So I'm just gonna put on the shirt and try all the shorts. So I still have a few more to try, but I feel like these are gonna be, I feel like these will be the ones. I really didn't wanna do tan. Oh, I don't like how it looks in the vlog, but I like it in real life. This was the color I wanted least. I wanted to be not so basic, but I'm starting to get stressed, so I think this is gonna be it. This is more what I wanted, but it's not my style. Fuck. Mm, I don't know. So the date is happening. Good thing I picked up those pieces. Damn. Can't wait to get a haircut, cause your boy looking thug. got the haircut and if you've been a subscriber for a minute there should be no surprise <laughs>
Ta-da. <laughs> Guess I got ghosted. I mean, like, look how good I look for no reason. I'm just a waste of a body. Stop. Um, speaking of body, stop. So before he technically ghosted me, and by ghosting, I mean he, he hasn't responded yet. I feel like he could respond. But I low-key, like, made the decision that I was, like, done. They said he lives in my town. Turns out he lives in Puerto Rico and didn't even say that on his profile. I threw out there like, us hanging out and he was like, I live in Puerto Rico, but we could totally meet up. His responses were just kind of taking longer and longer. Then he followed up saying, let's meet up. What's your schedule? So that's when I was like, okay, guys, uh, totally going on the date, like I said, because like, what the hell does that mean? My camera died. The next day, he responded at like 7 a.m. and then didn't respond until 12 a.m. I was like, ah, I'm nervous. He ended up disregarding the schedule part and was just like, why are you nervous? And I was just like, I'm shy at first, but NBD, I'm okay. He said, oh, I'm not shy. It might be too much for you. Number one, like, that, that's great that you're not shy. As a shy person, I wouldn't want really to go out with someone shy. But anyways, I was just like, only one way to find out. As the minutes, the hours passed, I was like, Billy, if he responds, you're not going. He lives in Puerto Rico. I was just trying to be optimistic. It's a lesson, like I need the practice. And he said that he comes here a lot for work and this doesn't really happen often. He could respond still. Cut to me actually still going on the date it would be for the plot no <laughs> i think i want to make a dating app advice video after this let me know if that's interesting because this being said everything truly is a learning experience i took a nugget from this it really is just building me up to like know what i want the self-respect that i deserve that shenanigan i just have a lot to say on the topic little spoiler rule number one get off the app i would say get the number as soon as possible because things will just move along quicker you don't have to make the date on the app just be like hey i suck answering on here here's my number we could text that'll escalate the process and you won't be dragged out like i was for days <laughs> normally i'd be in depresso mode right now but it's not that serious. He didn't really feel like my type. I'm always feeling like signs or whatever. I don't know why, because I never know what the fuck the sign is. Him peeing from here, and I was excited. And then he tells me he lives in Puerto Rico. Not one thing said Puerto Rico. Dating, man. It's weird. It's so stupid and such like a waste of time and energy. Yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I really want to try vlogging more again. I might do some reactions. If you don't know, I have a reaction channel and I might do some different type of reactions on here. Who knows? I uploaded one already actually and it got blocked for copyright and like I just I'm not trying to deal with that on this channel. If you like movie, TV, music reactions, check out my reaction channel billy the reaction slayer all the links will be below i have a patreon for exclusive content follow me on instagram tiktok i would love to be like a live streamer on tiktok billy carney xo across all platforms basically i will see you guys in the next one it's billy bitch